everybody, it's Janet. I know I haven't uh, been with you for a while, so I wanted to show you something I've been working on and uh, was pretty happy with the result. Um, I was at, like many of you probably, scoping out Michaels and Joann's and things right after Christmas to find some good discounts. And one thing that I found was this Art Impressions die and stamp set. It's a deer or really it's supposed to be a reindeer, right? And it's got his little collar with the bells on it and he's all tangled up with lights. I thought he was really cute. But I thought, you know, how could I reuse this for Valentine's Day? Um, and I think I figured out how to do it. But before I show you that, I want to show you what comes in the set. You get several dies in this set, plus you get some stamps. Uh, here's the bell, his head with the with the lights on it, and then his his back end and both and also serves as his front end. So he's got four legs when he's done. And then there's a little sentiment here: Christmas cheer to friends so dear. Um, you'll notice that I wrote up on here some notes for myself. It says CAI video on construction. Don't use included instructions. Um, because when you look at the back here there's some instructions and they give you some clues but they are not nearly complete enough for you to have a satisfying result so um, uh, here's the nose I got out of my package um, so you know if you're going to try to use this set go see the art impression videos on it just type in pop card construction or tutorial and then go to the AI uh, video itself from that group because they they show you the real tricks about how to do this correctly and easily so it took me a little while to figure that out <laughs> and I did a few things wrong with this but because um, I didn't see the videos first so what we get here is the die that cuts out the front and the rear this is what you stamp here right there right and then you get the head as well that goes here after you've stamped out and you'll notice that there's this bar going across both of these pieces these are slits that will cut into your paper and the slits are necessary because they allow these pieces to go over each other using this template this is the mechanism that actually makes it work 3D um, and what you do is you fold this up and then you're slipping slipping these pieces through the points and the slots and um, that'll make more sense in a minute I know it doesn't right now then we've got a die here for his collar here is the circle die for the uh, bells and then we've got a nose die with a tab that because it, you need the tab to stick into the whole thing um, and that'll make sense in a minute as well so those are the pieces now let's show you my results, okay? I already showed you the front of this card. Uh, I'll talk about what I did to make this in a second, but here is the cute deer, which I revamped in order to make it for Valentine's Day. So here's what I did. I uh, used a red collar, probably could have used a pink collar, but I used red, and then up here where his individual little lights are I replaced or covered up the lights with these little heart uh, sequins and you can see from the stamp there's little little lights sticking out all around so I just covered them up basically replaced them with uh, a light set that is in the shape of hearts and then I used the glaze pen to trace the line or the electrical line so that that would stand out better. I used the glaze pen also on, on the eyes and the nostrils here and the mouth, so white and black both. And then I used some spectrum markers to shade in his ears a little bit and color his his hooves. Let's take a look at the side of this. You can see that's a pretty hefty depth and in fact let's take a look at how deep it actually is so 
So he is three quarters inch deep when you open him up. So what you have to do yourself, and it's not included in the set, is notch out the piece that creates the 3D, and then also this bar, which is just a simple piece of a matching cardstock again. And these all attach underneath. That bar attaches underneath there. That's really tough to see it. But what happens is, is it pulls, pulls this up when you open the card and you can see as I close it it's flattening and in fact what it does is it folds completely flat on the right side and then opens up as you open the card so really cute and I really like the result of this but of course I, I, type, I used a stamp set which is a letter by letter stamp set to put dearly and I got so involved with trying to get that straight and doing it right that I spe spelled dear correctly and in this case it should have been incorrect spelled like a deer, like this little guy, D-E-E-R, so kind of messed that up. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. This is going to be a Valentine's Day card for my son from my husband and I, um, and it says, we love you dearly. So thought that he would think that this is cute. He's 12, and so uh, here's how I made the front of this card. I used a Cottage Cuts die. This is the nest, stitched nested hearts die, and I used the biggest one, I think it's the biggest one, yeah, the biggest one to create the main heart on this card. And then I used a heart uh, embossing folder. It's from Doris, and it has all these cute conversation hearts on it, so uh, I used that. Then I used my mink and some Heidi Swap elements to create this gold and white heart that sits on top as well as this little hello in red foil um, just to kind of add to the collage. Then I used the bow die to make the little bow that's here. And I guess, let me see, I have that right here. This is the the bow die, build a bow, which I really love using, especially using it with foam, and this is glittered foam. Just have a blast with that one. This is the smallest of the two. I'll show you what the bigger one looks like, because uh, I had to make this. I figured I might as well make it, because the, um, the actual die makes both at the same time. So I've made that and set it aside. I'm quite sure I'll find a place for that. Oh, and then... Um, I wanted to show you real quick. Here's that Doris folder. It says, Kiss Me, Only You, My HRT, Love Bug, XOXO, Call Me. I mean, it's really, really cute. And the impression it makes is quite deep and nice, as you can see right here. Then I used a another stamp set from Close to My Heart. It's called Thoughtful Tidings, and this is the We Love You stamp here. And I did that with white embossing powder, first stamping it with um, the Versamark ink and then using white glossy embossing powder and then heating that up to create this look. Then I had uh, some hearts and some other stickers and some sayings left over from previous years, so I put that on here just to, again, kind of create a collage look for the card itself. And this is a A2 size card by the way. So again, you open it up, it says hello, we love you, swak, all these pretty fun things. They open it up and it says, well, first of all, we love you, and then dearly. All right, so that's what I've been up to uh, lately. I am working on some additional Valentine's Day cards that you'll see coming out in the next week or two, and I hope you're doing well. I'll see you soon. Bye.